My tier lists have gotten over 10 million views, so to celebrate, we're gonna put all of my tier lists in a tier list. Childhood snacks tier list. Rice Krispie treats, easy S tier, I still eat these today. Ring pops, pain in the ass to eat, and makes you look like a maniac. C tier. Twinkies. People actually eat these? I feel like people from other countries think Americans wake up, eat three Twinkies, and then go to the firing range, but I've never seen anyone eat a Twinkie. Lunchables. Okay, this is weird because there's multiple versions. Some are pretty good and some are bad, like the pizza one, but most of them are all right, so I'll put them in B. Tootsie Rolls. Does anyone actually like Tootsie Rolls? I remember our school had a candy swap for Valentine's Day, and if you gave someone a Tootsie Roll, that was basically the third grade version of saying fuck you. F tier. Kid cuisine slash frozen dinner. If your parents went out and you had a frozen dinner, you knew it was gonna be a W night. S tier. Pop tarts. Okay, this is showing strawberry, which isn't even the best flavor. I think that goes to chocolate fudge, but I'll put them in A. But side note, did you know that there are creatures out there that eat their pop tarts raw? Like they don't toast them, but there's something even worse. There are people that willingly buy unfrosted pop tarts. I'm gonna be fair and put the childhood snacks tier list in B tier. It was my first attempt at this format, so I'm a little attached to it, but your first attempt is never your best one. And I almost forgot, for this tier list and every tier list after this, I'm also gonna include the one item that I think I left off that list. For example, with childhood snacks, I forgot to include Gushers, probably my all-time favorite snack as a kid. Also, at the very end, I'm gonna show a section that I had to remove from a tier list. Next up is the chores tier list. Doing the dishes, F tier, especially if your parents made like spaghetti or something. Taking out the trash, uh, C tier. It can be bad, but it's usually over pretty fast. Mowing the lawn. Honestly, I love mowing the lawn. I have a big yard, so it's kind of relaxing because I just listen to music and go really fast. I woke up in a new Bugatti. S tier. Taking down the Christmas tree. Oh, negative F. I hate this so much. Taking down every ornament, disassembling every branch, and putting it all in the attic. Dude, it ruins the Christmas spirit. Vacuuming. I'll put it in A. It's really easy and you can finish it fast. The only thing I don't like is when you have to empty it into the trash when you're done. Cleaning your room. I like cleaning my my room, but sometimes I just want to be a slob. Like, why do I have to make my bed if I'm gonna sleep in it that exact same night? B tier. Finally, we have cleaning the bathroom, and I think everyone can agree this is easily F tier. Dude, I went off on the music on this one. I'm gonna put the chores tier list in A tier. I don't think there were any controversial takes in that short because, well, let's face it, everyone hates chores, but one chore I definitely forgot to include was laundry. Now, the difficulty of laundry does vary from person to person. Like, if you're kind of young living with your parents, it's not that bad, but if you're a broke college student living on the third floor of your dorm, and you have to do your laundry every week, it gets pretty annoying. Next up is the pizza topping tier list. We're gonna start out easy with pepperoni. It's going in S tier. It's a classic, it tastes good, and it belongs on pizza. Unlike pineapple. At least that's what I would have said three weeks ago. Ever since the fruit tier list where I made fun of people who ate pineapple on pizza, I actually gave it a shot and it wasn't that bad. And I'm totally kidding, it tasted like sh but pineapple pizza still isn't as bad as pear pizza. I don't know how that's allowed. But I can't make a pizza topping tier list without talking about cheese. I think cheese deserves free S tier. It belongs on every pizza. Pizza without cheese isn't a pizza. It's just wet bread. But let's talk about what's under the cheese. And I don't mean the sauce, but some people put tomatoes on pizza when there's already sauce. I don't understand. It's like putting raisins in your PB&J sandwich. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this one in B and here's why. I didn't script this short and I voiced it in like five minutes because it was right before a stream. I don't think it's a bad tier list, but I think I could have made it better and funnier with more time. So I'm missing a lot of pizza toppings. So I think I'm gonna throw in ham. Ham sucks. It's just bacon, but not as good. Next up is the water tier list. Tap water. F tier. If you drink water straight from the sink, you are a menace and could probably beat up anyone that drinks Fiji water. I feel like people that drink Fiji water think they're better than everyone. So I'm gonna say screw them and also put it in F. Like why pay $5 for a tiny water bottle, but you can pay $5 for five gallons. This water is A tier, and I swear the water from this specific fountain is the second most refreshing liquid that I've ever swallowed. With the first being your mom. The water from your school's water fountain. That's what I was going for. The water from here is so overpowered that our school was forced to implement a super cringe rule. One, two, three, save some for me. Hey, what are you- ah! Now, at the time of recording, this is my most viewed short, and it's the only short I have with over 5 million views. For that alone, I'm gonna give it S tier, but there's also another reason. It was a perfect setup for the Swedish water versus American water short, and in my opinion, that's one of the best shorts on the channel. If I had to pick a type of water that I forgot, I would probably go with sparkling water. It tastes like shit. It's literal TV static in a bottle. Next up is the chair tier list. Metal folding chair. F tier. It somehow feels like this chair wasn't made for sitting, but instead 
as a weapon. Every time I sit in it, it just hurts my ass. Something I can't say about the recliner. This is the freest S tier of my life. It's super comfortable, and there's a reason they put these in movie theaters rather than whatever the fuck this is. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen this in the wild, but it kind of seems fun, so I'll put it in A. If kids had these in school rather than a desk, this world would probably be a better place. Speaking of desks, they suck, and I imagine they suck even more for left-handed people. D tier. Now, usually I try to think of a way to transition to the next item smoothly, but I literally have nothing for this next one. The Game of Thrones chair. Why the fuck is this on the list? I'm gonna give it F tier because the last season ruined everything. And now we have a bunch of chairs left over, so I'm gonna rapid fire. Folding chair, A tier, great for camping. Gaming chair, also A tier, and it's the only reason I hit my shots. The classic restaurant bar chair, easy F tier. Metal chairs just aren't comfortable. And finally, we have the greatest chair of all. Going in S tier is the beanbag. I'm gonna put this one in A just because it's such a goofy idea. I love the fact that I can just make a tier list about anything and it will do well. I mean, this isn't even the weirdest one. As far as what chair I missed, it was definitely the plastic lawn chair. I got so many comments asking for that one. Also, I forgot to include any kind of like office chair, so there's a two in one. Next up is the fruit tier list. Pineapple is a safe A tier. It tastes good and you can throw it at people, but there are creatures in this world that would consider pineapple a pizza topping. I don't trust them, but it could be worse because some people consider pear as a pizza topping. When I saw this in the frozen aisle at Walmart, it made me want to enlist in the military. This is diabolical. I'm still gonna put pears in S tier because, well, my channel name, but I don't want this to turn into a pizza topping tier list, so let's rank apples. Hot take, but they're overrated, and I can't justify giving it anything higher than B tier when you're supposed to throw half of it away. Grapes, however, are an easy S tier, and I can prove it. See, most fruits have a downside to them. What I mean is some fruits have parts you can't eat, and some even have armor, but not for the Chad grape. And that's because you can just eat them straight off the vine, so it gets my respect. Mangoes are also S tier, and I don't really think I have to explain this one because they're simply the best fruit. And actually, not gonna lie, I would probably rank every single fruit pretty high up, except one. A fruit so bad that our fruit-themed Discord server has turned it into a slur. Yeah, I hate melons. You know, I think fruit tier list deserves A tier. It's funny, it makes fun of pineapple pizza, and most importantly, it shouts out the Discord. What else could you ask for in a short? And I can't believe I forgot to rank bananas. I love bananas. They're definitely like a top five fruit for me. We're getting pretty close to the deleted emoji, so I'm gonna pick up the pace. Next up is the world leaders tier list. I'm gonna put Stalin in S tier. He's pretty short, but he can get the job done. Oh, by the way, I'm ranking them based on how they would do in a basketball match. Next up is King Henry VIII, and I'm gonna put him in the basketball tier because he looks like one. Remember, kids, it's never okay to make fun of how someone looks, unless they're a politician. Kim Jong-un is a f***ing fat ass, so he's going in F tier. I might be on a watch list now, but I really don't care. What is he gonna do? Eat me? This guy's name that I don't wanna say is going in F tier. If he doesn't have the motivation to finish art school, what makes you think he's gonna practice free throws? This guy's name I don't wanna say is going in B tier. That's because not only does he hit the gym, but also the ice bath. Now, the US probably has the widest range of talent. On one hand, we have Abraham Lincoln, who's known for being tall. But on another, we have William Howard Taft, who's known for getting stuck in a bathtub. All I know is that if I had one president to pick to make a shot for me, I'm picking Obama. Probably because he's blue. <laughs> this short was so fucking edgy, dog, but it has to be S. It's one of my funniest ones. I don't really know what world leader I forgot. I excluded Joe Biden and Trump on purpose because I didn't want political shit in my comments. So let's just say I forgot Queen Lizzie. And now finally, here's the emoji tier list. Emoji tier list. The skull emoji has to be one of the best emojis out there. This laughing emoji, overrated. This laughing emoji, overrated. The skull is so good because it literally conveys the message, I'm dead. Because like, skeletons are dead. D do you get it? The ice face. I've always found this emoji pretty funny. Apple clearly made it for people to use when they're cold, but instead they use it like this. Yeah! And real quick, what the fuck is this? This is beyond Android emojis. This is nightmare fuel. Now, one bad thing about emojis is because there are so many, there's bound to be a few that people just don't care about, like the olive. Does anyone even use this? I can't even see it on my computer. And now for the best emoji, and the only one you can use in any situation. Your mom tells you to clean your room? Mawai emoji. The IRS says they're gonna hunt you down? Mawai emoji. Your wife says she wants to leave you and move to the North Pole with someone else? Mawai. This is free S tier. I also think this short has the most comments out of any of my shorts just because, you know, emojis, it promotes comments, and it kind of works well. But finally, here's the emoji that I cut from the short, and it might actually explain the joke at the end better. This is nightmare fuel. Just like Santa Claus. What? You think just because he's white, he has the right to climb down my chimney, steal my cookies, and f*** my wife? F tier. Now, one bad thing about emoji, so I cut it because I decided it wasn't really funny, and it kind of makes the ending a little more random, which I kind of like in my shorts. But yeah, that was the first tier list. Tier list, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more, and click this video right now, because according to the YouTube algorithm, that's exactly what you want to see next.